Welcome back. Well, it's going to be a breezy and milder weekend and overall it's actually been a pretty mild winter and that has been a trend over the last several years and uh, over the last four or five decades for that matter. And I want to talk a little bit about uh, these milder winters. Let's take a look at this graphic uh, since 1970 over the last 50 years. We've gone from averaging in Lafayette 15 freezes per year per winter down to about 10 freezes per winter. So five fewer nights where we have sub freezing temperatures, at least in Lafayette. This has been the trend for all of Acadiana as well. And most recently in Lafayette, the last three or four winters and the last three winters for sure have been quite mild. We are we've had five freezes or less uh, five going back last year, three or four the year before. And this year so far only three freezes and we don't have any freezes through the first week of February. And usually once we get through the mid and latter part of February, the chance of a freeze really goes down. But don't start planning your stuff quite yet. But overall, we're seeing this warming trend during the winter months where we're seeing fewer freezes. That means more mosquitoes. Uh, it's better for the heating bills for sure, but you can have more other issues with entomology as well. And this trend of warmer temperatures we've seen going back to the 20th century really manifesting in the summer months, making for heavier rainfall events and such. Check out my article I wrote on KTC.com. It's published there should be the first one on the weather page. Meanwhile, today we've had uh, some high clouds across the area. It's been busy in the west and those high clouds uh, right now. That's going to hold temperatures down somewhat tonight. Temperatures won't get as cold, so it will be about 8 to 10 degrees milder. Temperatures by tomorrow morning, even though we get down into the 40s, will be in the lower 50s. And then tomorrow in the lower 70s with mostly cloudy skies and a few breaks in those clouds. So hopefully a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Gusty south to southwest winds, though. We'll talk a little bit more about that spotty showers going into tomorrow evening and then tomorrow night around midnight to 4 a.m. We'll see scattered showers. They're going to be light showers, quick moving, so no major issues enough to wet the ground, but that's about it. Be a nuisance. And as we get closer to daybreak Sunday, those showers pushing off to the east, a few lingering clouds, but we expect sunshine with breezy and mild conditions early Sunday and then getting cooler as we go into early next week. And that's what we see on the long range forecast. Then toward the end of next week, we'll get mild again with rain chances developing for next Thursday, perhaps Friday as well. Temperature wise tonight, uh, upper 40s early past midnight, but lower 50s as we start our day, then lower 70s for tomorrow afternoon. Winds also an issue. They'll be out of the southeast. That's why it's not going to be as cold tonight, and then they'll be breezy out of the south southwest 15 to 25 and gusty through our Saturday afternoon. Then they'll be switching around out of the northwest and get breezy for Sunday afternoon. So certainly a breezy weekend on tap. So not as cold, but chilly clouds gradually increase nearly a full moon out there, giving us some nice effects with the clouds as well. Sometimes you can see a ring around the moon and some colors of the rainbow out there. 72 the high for our Saturday with mostly cloudy skies. Few intervals of sunshine during the course of the afternoon and those winds gusting up to 30 in spots during the afternoon. 60 to 70% on your rain chances tomorrow evening, then cooler weather early next week and then unsettled toward the end of next week. That's it for weather. We're going to have more coming up in just a little bit.